friends, welcome back to my gaming channel, Neor. Just a second. Yeah, so we are back with a new game, Twin Mirror. So this game is just the uh, what? What do I say? This game is like means the way to play. The gameplay is like kind of like the game we played in the last video or the last game we played tell me why because this game is developed by the same developers that developed tell me why this is their next game after tell me why that came out on December 2020 so actually I wanted to play this that's why I decided to play the one that came before so now I will be starting with a new game, Twin Mirror. Let's see how this game goes. Uh, the rating on this game is not as good as the previous one. And yeah, but I don't go by ratings. I like to play a game and decide that for myself the game is good. I and many times I find that the game's rating is not good, but I find myself enjoying that. That is enough for me. So I will be starting with a new game with Mirror. Let's start on a new game. Just hold on a second. Let me check. Uh, the audio is okay. Uh, subtitles. No, no, no. no. Subtitles is on. Let's start a new game. Skies are finally clear enough after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the bathroom sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... Get copyright over the song, which is why I have to speak continuously because, like, the song at times gives copyright. So, our train is passing by, and this is our main character. I don't know what his name is. Bob, hey, you're gonna be at the, the wake, right? Wake is some kind of funeral, right? And the train passed on, and so the way he threw his phone at the back, it seems he didn't want to go to the way. Kind of thing. So, okay, the city does look beautiful, and I am continuing talking over mainly because of the music going on in the background. I don't want to get a copyright strike. But it's true, the music is nice also. Okay, I think the graphics is a bit improved than the previous one, but it's mostly the same. Hopefully the music sound will stop now. And this game takes some time to load, unlike the previous one. And this game is shorter than the previous one because this game is more episodic. There is one single game and it is a, 
it's a lot shorter than the previous one. It is time to kill before the funeral. Might uh, as well spend it here. The timing, the length of this game, from what I have seen, is more than one episode of the previous game, but less than two episodes. Even way lesser than. The funeral isn't for a while, and I'm not gonna walk into town. Okay, so he is going to the funeral, but he. Okay, look at the shadow. He came here to spend some time before the funeral. Yeah, looks like the graphics has been worked on. It is a bit better than the last game. Funeral isn't for a while, and I'm not going to walk you into can town. See the reflections, the sunlight on the fort, and then the shadow on the wall there. Yes, they have improved the graphics. Okay. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Restoration board. The company made sure we know. We knew how generous they were. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Okay, I cannot read everything that is like on the writing way. Basswood State Forest restoration made possible. Oh. Restoration made possible thanks to the generous donations of the new Virginia Clothing. Yes, the graphics is suddenly improved. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Okay, he comes here to enjoy the view of some somewhere. What is this? Orientation board. Inspect. Okay, this is the symmetry. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Nick. So is the one Nick the one who called us, or the Nick the one who died? Who knows? And so, from what it tells, the things are not good between them. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. So this is his hometown. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing <coughs> with Nick. Okay. So this Nick, I think, was a friend or a childhood friend, something like that. I feel like I don't know. Orientation board. Founded in 1865, this small mining town quickly grew along with the coal industry. At its peak, Basswood produced more coal than any other town in West Virginia, with the Basswood mine being one of the most consistent coal mine in the U.S. Basswood is also a wonderful place to simply let nature be nature outside the Appalachian Trail. With its hundreds of miles of hiking trails, the perfect example for the true West Virginia way of life, Basswood Coal is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into the bright future. Okay, wait. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's it, right? Was there anything else? Hold on a second. I'm having this problem with my mouth, which is sometimes not responsible. Picnic tables in serious need of repair. Has no one been using them? I don't think these tables have seen any children recently. At least I hope not. Just so this was a picnic table which has not been used in a long time. Anything else over here? Danger, fall hazard. Warning sign because a sign protects better than sturdy railing. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. <laughs> the sign is always everywhere. There's always a sign in. Fire pit. Still soaked by the rain. I used for some time. Kids hung out here all the time. Not that I was ever invited. Or wanted to go. Okay, so 
which means in his childhood there were a lot of kids in this area and this place was livelier kind of thing but when he grew up and came this place became deserted and no one comes here something like that and this looks like he was not here he came after a certain time emergency phone directly connected to the emergency line I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Wildlife sign. Hiking trail. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Okay. Wildlife. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. Who's she? West Virginia Scenic Mountain Forest are home to deer, flying squirrel, lead foxes, field mouse, rabbits, and cave bats, among the others. Bobcats, wild boars, even black bears have been seen all over the state. Even very remote farm states have occasionally sighted the eastern cougar, puma, fun color, on the prowl. Okay, Brazil Wildlife Area. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Hunting rules. When, hunt when hunting, carry with you any and all required permits and license. Do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol. Hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise. Okay. So no one can hunt after sunset or half an hour after sunset. No hiking site. Trail closed three years ago due to a landslide. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. Food locker keeps hikers and hunters safe from deer. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. You are in beer country. Food and order attracts beer. These items may not be left outside or in tents at any time, day or night, unless they are in immediate use. Dishes and what is this? Water meal. Uh, pet food and bowls, food, coolers, trash, stove and grills, drinking cans and bottles, water bottles. Helps keeps human and wildlife safe by not feeding the beer intentionally or unintentionally. A, a pet beer is a dead beer. You can make a difference in the beer's life. Violation of these rules may subject you to a citation, monetary time, uh, and or confiscation of these items. Patch of moss. There seems to be something here. A plus L. Journal updated. Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seemed twisted to me. <laughs> How do I see this journal of you? Maybe it will later tell me how. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Okay. So we can use this spyglass to look from here. And this place is broken. Spyglass. Hey, what is that? Wait, what is happening? What exactly is happening here? Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? 
Oh, this is his mind. Yes, I read it somewhere. Like <coughs> he he has some kind of mind bliss. Like detectives and like I have. Uh, do you remember that Sherlock Holmes in Netflix? Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Similarly, like he got a mind place of his own. Like I think he's some sort of a detective. So he's got a mind place of his own. So we are in his mind place now. Pass through rail track, damage track, let really rail accident. Okay, so rail accident. Okay, we can interact. Yes, optimal shot angle. There are some equations there. Anything else? What is that? It's like a form. Memory. Remember. I uh I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Oh, so he's the one who died. We just saw this memory. Is there anything different? I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. His girl's godfather is taking care of his girl. But why would he not take care of her himself? Or maybe teaching her girl was right or wrong. Maybe. This is another memory. This is Anna. She works for you. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. Who is she? She doesn't look small enough to be his daughter. Or maybe she is, who knows? Looks like another memory. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam! Are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Okay. Another memory. Come on, Anna, look at this. What is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring.
You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Press I to read new journal entry. Investigation. I decided to take a walk on the promontory before Nick's funeral. I thought I wasn't ready to face Basswood again, but the past is already pulling me pulling me back in. My memories are so busy, vivid. It's as if I never left. Take a walk on the promontory, remember the night at the spyglass, return to the car, you have wasted enough time. So most probably she rejected him because of which he left the city and went out. Something like that happened. People, let's look at our main character. Samuel Sam Hicks. Okay, it's it's a, it's the name of our main character. I left Basu two years ago to run away from a job at a small time newspaper and it, a town full of angry people and a failed relationship. I didn't glance back. Now I am going home to attend my best friend's funeral. What could be more fun than facing all your past mistakes at your friend's gravesite, right? So he was the, his best friend, that guy. And he went away and he used to work a, in a small time newspaper. So is he actually reactive or maybe not? I don't know. Um, I don't know. He might not be reactive. But he has a mind place that makes me feel he is a reactive, right? Um, let's look at his best friend who died. Nick has been my friend since we were kids. The, my only friend, I I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basu. Now he's ghosting me by being dead. Okay. Memento. Memento. Do I miss any of these things or will I get this later? And Anna. Anna, the one that got away. We um, would be my whole life. Would my whole life be different if she had said yes? See her again. That's going to be hard. Yes, part of me is looking forward to it. The rest of me wants to turn around and live now. Mental. Bittersweet to see your own name carved into all oh, shit. It was her idea to carve your initials into a tree. This was before, well, you know the rest. You came up here one night with her by your side. It was late and you were about to head back when Anna said she wanted to show you something. She had scratched your initials into the tree then and drew your heart around them. What are you, twelve? You scoffed. She took your hand and made you retrace the groove in the woods with your finger. What are you twelve? She said, and you are in love for the first time. It's what you will compare for the rest of your life too, forever. You loved, she kissed you, and then you drove home and never thought about the tree again until now. Okay, so they were lovers. Like it was not like she friends and she thought they were friends and they not like that. They were lovers, but she was not looking for a commitment. I feel like that. Okay. Stats. Cold feet, no choice has been made. So I need to head back. The 
I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Oh shit, I missed the funeral. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. So these are the same thing. Lovers scarring a tree to write down their initials. Always seemed twisted to me. <laughs> and it wasn't born anymore. Walter, Sorry, Walter, there. but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only <laughs> thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. So that's the beginning of the game. Do it mirror. Are you still coming? I really hope uh, you can make it, make the way. It will be a habit. Nick on care, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Lost the signal. Some things never change. It was a decision to make basically that I am going or not. I am beginning to like it. Minor 7 parking lot. He arrived at night. Daughter can't imagine what she's going through. You want Buck World Run? Okay, this is Nick's daughter. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Let's not talk about this. Let me explain, answer. Let me explain. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. 
I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please. She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. If I'm out of it, promise to look into it. I will promise to look into it. And who's this guy who's been talking with him? Who no one can see. Who knows? A D. Okay, I will choose. Yeah. Promise to look into it. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. I believe that if we are doing an investigation, we should involve everyone, even if it will hurt the little kid, but we may get answers, some answers from him, right? Or her, or her, right? What's been happened, what's happened in this past two years and all that. So, we can't leave anyone out. So he's not a cop and he's doing an investigation. And it looks as if like she has been done doing some this kind of things a lot. That doesn't quite make sense. And who's that guy in the back of the car? Who's been talking to him? Journal updated. Everyone knows Nick and I were best friends. Everyone thinks I owe it to him to be here. His daughter jo Joan goes even farther. She thinks I should stay here and investigate her father's death. Our old boss Walter is sure to have something to say too. I won't be able to sneak past him. Go inside the bar. Bip. The same town, the same doubts and contradictions, face it or escape it. This time I made a different decision. The temperament to embark on another doomed investigation leading to nothing but pain was too strong to resi resist. Am I doing this for Joan, for Nick or for myself? So maybe he is a reporter. So that's why he, as a reporter, he has an investigative mind. And let's look at Joan's profile. John Bug Waldron, 
of all of all people i heard when i left basut john is the one who least deserved it she was just a kid and my goddaughter but it's a tough job to be a lonely kid only friend i couldn't hack it now her dad died things aren't going to be easier for her angry hard stubborn hard to believe john was the one who nicknamed me muley not that i am looking for an excuse i made a promise to a child and uh, that will break her heart whether i keep it or not what if she is right about her father's death what will that do to her and what if i can't give her the answers she's hoping for nicolas nicolas and john bagwaldor Before I hear in let's see if there is anything. A little late to turn back. I might as well see it through. Yeah, I am not wanting to turn back even. Something to do in this car and stuff. Although I don't think so, but so it doesn't hurt to look. I actually don't want to miss anything. Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. I will, but Yes, the cat food Walter is under talks. the sink. Yes, yes it is, mother. Oh, Trust Walter me. Friendly as oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over 2 years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to Step see you. Back, hug it. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Journal updated. Walter My old boss had the paper. I would say he taught me everything I know, but given my track record, that wouldn't be much of a compliment. I always thought Walter was a decent sort, the rare breed who truly believes his job is to serve the community. Saying the old joker was nicer than I had expected. Okay. Walter 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 Jones bike heavily worn out, she still loves biking. That smile she had when I gave it to her. She could barely get on it back then. Football go at at least base would still as his pathfinder. One of Nick's favorite matchups. Might be the first game he'll miss. Bars back door. I don't want to get through the back door. The coal miners have in bar has changed its logo but never changed its name. The old bar sign reminds me of when Nick and I were still kids. Coal miners have in arcade games were the first friends you had. And Nick Walden was your first real friend. I am somewhere in between, of course. And it all started here. The coal miners' haven. The bar had an old arcade machine. The owner, Mr. Edwards, rescued from some junk heap. He spent the whole afternoon there playing Pac-Man until it got dark outside, and the bar filled up with miners craving a cheap drink. 
and Mr. Edwards eventually kicked you out. You begged him to let you stay and play some more, but he thought it was already nice of him to let you all in. He would even leave the machine on free play most days. He was a tough guy, an amateur boxer, not big on drink or underage kids arguing with him when it was time to go home. One day there was another boy playing Pac-Man at part. You watched him hoping he would leave soon. Suddenly he turned on you and said, My cousin swears there's a magic pill that makes ghosts stay blue forever. But it only appears on the hundred door at the center. Where's the fruit at? Does your cousin talk a lot of bullshit? You asked. The boy stressed his head and he seriously thought about the answer that finally said yeah all the time and you both burst out laughing okay after that guy is nick you played together for the rest of the afternoon nick beat your highest score and then you beat his it got late and you both got kicked out that was when nick invited you over to his place the next day nick waited for you the next day, Nick waited for you at the school gate. He walked you to the minor seven like he wanted to make sure you would run away. You didn't, not then. So this is a memento for Nick. Yeah. Some of the police force stopped by, which means most of the police force stopped by. And anything else on the other side? What about these cars? This one is ours, I think. Kathy's car, her car is older than her daughter. Seems Kathy's been keeping this run in a hundred thousand miles past its prime. I hope she's not running short on money. So who's this Kathy? Okay, let's get inside. I don't want to go around the back. dispenser I haven't read an issue of this paper since I left I wonder how they've been doing without me local legend honored today by Walter Dodson earlier this week our deal Dear colleague Nick Nicholas Walton passed away in a tragic car accident. He will be set to rest tomorrow at Heaven's Gate Cemetery before his family, friends, and co workers share a drink at the coal miners' haven to honor the memory of a dearly departed friend. Long time readers will no doubt recognize his name as there has been days when it was the byline of half the articles written in this lucky paper. Nick was loved by his family and colleagues. He is survived by his daughter Joan and his ex-wife Kathy. Okay, so Kathy is Nick's ex-wife. Continue on page 3. That's it, I guess. Must have been a hard issue to write. Journal updated. You don't often make it to the front page of the newspaper with good news, not even in past. Car crash, Walter did a good job on that. Ok, 
get right front door. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Here we go. All minors have Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? As if you are, well, Nick's memory only goes so far. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Uh, living as soon as I can, new strategy just here for Nick. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think okay. it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Attend the wake, pay homage to Nick. Okay, these two guys. Joel. All the miners in Basu lost their jobs when the mines closed. I know better than to provoke him. Declan. Declan's a local law enforcement. I vaguely remember him from school. He used to get into fights a lot, usually to protect smaller kids. No one was surprised that he became a cop. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. You always did know how to start a ruckus. I can't say I missed that. Old timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. Hey Sam, why don't you drink to Nick on the other side of the bar? Who at last hasn't been replaced in the case. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Uh... It took a lot of research. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern emerged of willful negligence. You are a bulldog. A dangerous man to anyone using power to exploit others. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. these two people, Tara. Tara and the office administrator at Basud Jungle. 
is the proverbial word worker. She likes everyone and everything, dinosaurs, romantic novels, evangelical TV, conspiracy theories, rice cookies, unusual street names, you name it. She would talk about it for hours. Memento. Huge. Huge is new in town, but it seems he kn it seems like he knows how to fit in. Then again, as the town pharmacy is fitting in his part of the job, still it's decent of him to come to to have come to new next week. Okay. Kathy. No more than three thousand. Pretty courageous of him to try his luck in basswood, given the basswood. state of things. That's what crooked pharmacists want you to be. But that amount is damaging to the doctor. Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. We can't talk to this Bess. Mindless. <laughs> I can't believe this whole thing's still working. It will take us down another memory. Okay, using this, the mind place, we can really see all the memories. Just like in the other game, we can see the memories live in front of us. This is another way to see the memories. In this game, let So oh, it's just another song playing. Oh, him and her. What was her name again? I forgot her name. I just I hope I don't get a copyright strike. I can't keep speaking over the whole time. They were involved in a romantic relationship, but most probably she didn't want commitment. The story is saving up good. I just hope it's not as sad as like uh, tell me why. One of his nicest memories. Sit yourself down. So he is like visiting his memory in his mind this year. And the memory is over. Arcade machine. Nick always has the highest head of the highest. Score. Nick and I spent so much money on this machine. Pac-Man. <laughs> Drum kit. Use by garbage van, Ethan tries to support the local team. I can't leave any comment or anything on this. Okay, but this drum kit doesn't allow me to do anything. Stay, stay. I will talk to Katie, but later. It's the guy who got the mine closed. I can't believe he showed up after what happened. Okay, so the mine closed because of our some kind of report article, and that's why the miners are angry. With Tara. I've never known Tara to not take over a conversation. So tragic what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted, roasted to death. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. It's all right. It's all right, Tara. I don't like the sight of dead, burned people. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't want to be rude on a day like this. Poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. 
I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. Uh -huh. I'll see you around. Wood carvings are mostly made by Ethan sister, charmed to look like coal. Charmed to look like It's supposedly the spirit of coal. Doesn't really belong here anymore. Back door. No one's allowed back there but Ethan. I could have come over there, but why bother? Come over there. I didn't know you read Dickens, Ethan. Not really. You just quoted him a couple of times and I thought it sounded good. Then you should read Great Expectations. It's a masterpiece, plain and simple. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Okay. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. So, I had to throw them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize... Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex-muckracker. Join us, join us. How was the funeral? Wasn't there. Setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years, my best reporter. What do you even say about him? He was a dedicated reporter. He was the same player. Remember that article? Something about stoplights? No one cared, but he did. Months of effort. Yield signs. He approached each story with his pen like a knight wielding a sword. It's the small things. Like he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot at Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Will I be back? Be honest. I spend all day doing nothing. I don't even count days. They just blur together. Nick's death? Barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. Time heals most wounds. Some it just makes worse. Sounds like you need something to pull you out of your rut. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate. But you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Ah, uh, Nick's death is him hard. Yeah, I drink better. Let's ask him. Oh, Walter, can I ask you something? Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself the same thing. The very same thing. It did seem odd. Young Nicholas. A careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself. You know what I found? What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while I don't mind you asking, some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial, especially from you. I'll uh, keep that in mind. See that you do, my boy. See that you do. He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Collection of bottles. Alcohols from all over the country tend like to show up, but I cannot do anything about that. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. So, Sam, how's life been treating you? Sam, it treats everyone well enough, I guess. Could be better next day. Well enough, I guess. I got a roof over my head. Can't really complain. Where'd you end up? You ran so fast after the mine closed, no one knew where you went. Just some place out of state. 
Kind of a fresh start. You staying in town long? Not really, why? You think I'm gonna disturb the peace or something? Huh. Wouldn't be your first time. Have a nice evening, Sam. So it looks like he also doesn't like us then. You always did know how to start a ruckus. He'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Everyone here seemed to really like my dad. Of course they did, Bug. Everyone's nice in that creepy way. It's weird. Even Anna's weird. How is Anna holding up? You've seen Anna? How is she? Is she here tonight? Uh, yeah. She's getting ready. Getting ready for what? Well, I don't know. Something. I've been avoiding her. She's kind of like mothering me a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And my own mom is already too much mom. You know? Do you ever just watch people? <laughs> it's pretty much all I do. Me too. But I don't always like what I see. Okay, that's that. Guards, distribution of masks suggests strong intoxication on the average player. Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. Restroom management no warning for drunk customers without the read it. I can read the warning. Next article. A password landmark is changing hand by Nick Walter. A password landmark is changing hand by Nick Walter. Long time bartender Ethan Morrow will be taking over the coal miners haven from the current owner Carl Edward. The coal miners haven has been one of best food's only bars since prohibition, but when it when it started as a speak easy. Ethan had this to say about the change. Nothing's gonna change much. The place feels like home for a lot of folks here. I don't wanna change that. He plans to keep Edward's collection of decorations and hope to add to it as the years go on. Mine photos. The, the pay attracted. The, what is that? The pay attracted a lot of people back then. Walter's article. A look at Basu, the bar you forgot to review by, by Walter Dawson. It's easy to target the place that makes your hometown, hometown feel familiar. The coal miners have in his one such place. The owner, Ethan Morrow, has been sure to stay true to the establishment's name by littering the walls with all the brave workers Basswood has seen over the years. Ethan might not have reached the skies yet, but he remains optimistic. Things aren't easy, but thankfully people still think they can beat me at turns. Give it a chance when you walk by. The prices are fair, the beer cold, and Ethan memory. And Ethan remembers the name of every customer. Build the billiard table. Slight short back corner gives legs an advantage to the mm, Hopefully, I have checked everything else.
Kathy, let's speak to her. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I'm surprised as you are. My condolences for Nick. It's good to see you. It's been too long, Kathy. <laughs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Joan thinks Nick was murdered. Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head? I frankly thought you knew better. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. She does not like us that much. Auto. Empty slot. It. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Nick and John. He was more her best friend than a dad. Jungle team. I wonder who took that picture. Nick, John, and Sam. Look at us. Nick and Anna. Happier times. Nick and Sam. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Nick and Kathy. Bug was so small back then. Nick and Walter. Those two were a great team. Look at us. We looked at all the photos. Anything else left? Samuel. Guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Who was the bitch with That's not why I left. That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> you left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. It's been rough on his front pretend you care. Things have been good. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. I think you mentioned she broke up with you. Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town. Chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Anyway... <laughs> Cheers to Nick, a man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Anna, right? Yeah, another song was probably. 
Play homage to Nick. Attend the wake. I think whatever is happening, this is totally the wake. Total thing is the wake. Um, then talk to Anna. Nick's wake has been barely started, and I have already had some uncomfortable conversation. But the most awkward one is yet to come. The one I am about to have with Anna for the first time after two years. Okay, so that's it for this video. I will continue from here in the next video. Wait, uh, before ending, I think I should read Anna's profile. Oh, there are a lot of profiles. Let's read this profile. Dennis Gardner. Dennis is the IT guy at the paper I used to work for. I remember him as a bitter and mean-spirited guy. A loner with not many friends in Basel. So am I. But it doesn't make mean we are kinder spirits. Tara, I read. Tara has no filter. She would make a terrible spy or a serial killer hmm, or maybe an excellent one. Walter. With Walter, what you see is what you get. His drift for Nick is sincere. Kathy. Kathy and Nick married young and divorced quick. I am not sure she is even really like He is ever really like <coughs> Though I was their daughter's godfather. Or maybe that just made things worse. Kathy's never forgiven me for disappearing from Joan's life. Ethan, a small town bartender who listens more than he talks. Ethan must be the only prosperous business. Ethan's bar must be the only prosperous business in Bash. Okay. So I am gonna end this here. So that's it for this video. I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.